Hello, my name is Paul Yoder, field agronomist for Pioneer. In today's video, I want to share with you some thoughts around the benefits of spraying a fungicide on your soybean crop. A lot of growers in the area do spray their beans with fungicides, and when I ask them why they do it, the overwhelming response is because the return on investment is almost always there. We at Pioneer have done multiple on-farm trials to verify that and to kind of find out what growth stage is going to give you your biggest return on your investment. What we found over those multiple years of research is that 83% of the time when you apply a fungicide at the R3 growth stage, you're going to see over a two and a half bushel increase in your overall yield. Now, one of the things that a lot of growers do, and I encourage as well, is incorporate an insecticide along with that application. Based on our on-farm trials, when we have done that, we have seen that 94% of the time, you're going to get over a, a five bushel increase. So adding the insecticide, even though you may not see a lot of pests in the fields, um, does show that benefit. This year, I'm already seeing a fair amount of pests. One of those pests is the Japanese beetle. And so adding that insecticide would be a good thing. Now you may be asking, well, what fungicide should I use? Well, there's a lot of good fungicides out there in the market. Corteva has a fantastic one that I would encourage you to ask us about. It has both preventative and curative. It has some residual to help carry through the crop a little bit, a few days to protect that soybean from diseases. And it has some additives to it as well that you will find of a benefit. Biggest thing though is if you buy in a fungicide, buy one that has both curative and preventative aspects to it. Now you may be asking, well, what growth stage again is R3? Well, if you go out to your soybean crop and you pull some of the plants, what you wanna do is you wanna look at the top four nodes. And in this case, you've got node number one, you have node number two, you have node number three, and you have node number four. So in any of those top four nodes, if you have what used to be a soybean flower developing into a pod that's 3 16ths of an inch in length, then you're at R3 stage. If you don't have any of those, if it's all flowers, then you are prior to R3. If you have pods that are three quarters of an inch or longer, you've already gone past R3 and onto R4. And based on our on-farm trials, you've already lost probably a solid bushel at least. So your return on investment won't be quite as high. So if you have any questions about fungicides, what types, or the product that we have at Corteva, or about the growth stages of soybeans, don't hesitate to reach out to any of us here at Pioneer, or more importantly, your Pioneer Seed Agent, and we will be glad to help you. Thank you, and I hope that you found this video to be of use to your farm. Be safe. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.